Do you own a new X Verdugo series pedal and you're not quite sure how to update the firmware? Well, stay tuned because the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to do it. Well, hey there, it's Scott at the Pedal Guy. How you doing? What we're all about pedal demos, pedal knowledge, and pedal sales. I love pedals, and so do you. In this video, I'm going to take you through the process of updating the firmware on any of the new X pedals in the Verdugo series. Anything that I show you here is applicable, whether you're using the Atlantic, the Solid Studio. In this case, we're going to be using the Melvin Lee Bass preamp. But anything I show you here is applicable across the board on any of those pedals. So this is a very short video. It should only take a couple of minutes. It's very simple to do. Let's get to it. Okay, so before we get started, you want to make sure you go to the NewX website and download the updater for the Verdugo pedal that you're going to update. In this case, we're doing the, uh, the Melvin Lee, uh, the Melvin Lee uh, bass preamp. So once that's done, launch the updater and you're going to on your desktop and you can now see that it says uh, no device found and that's because we haven't put the pedal into device update mode yet. In order to do that, it's very simple. You just simply unplug the device you hold down both of the foot switches. Now again, as I've said before, this applies to all of the Verdugo pedals. So it's the same exact procedure for each one of them. So hold down those two foot switches and then plug the device back in. Having a little trouble finding the port, there we go. Okay, now there he goes. You get uh, both of the LEDs are now blinking, meaning that it is in device update mode. If you now look at the firmware updater uh, app, you can now see that uh, the device is connected and ready to go. So at this point we can select a file and we're going to select that base preamp, bring it in. Okay, and at this point now we can start the update. It's going to take less than a minute to do this. So hit that start update button and now it starts updating. You can see the you can see it's going right across the screen there, lickety split, and in less than what was that, 10 seconds, it's already done. So at that point now you can quit the app and you can now unplug and then replug in the uh, Melvin Lee pedal and it is ready to go again this could be for any of the pedals so it could be the atlantic it could be the solid studio it could be the jtc it doesn't matter but that's how you update the firmware well that concludes our video on how to update the firmware on the new x verdugo series if you have any further questions use the comments section and i'll get back to you when i can have a good one well thanks for stopping by i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any further questions be sure to visit us at thepedalguide.com but in the meantime follow us on facebook Follow us on Instagram, and also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly videos and tutorials. Thanks for stopping by here at thepedalguide.com, where I love pedals and so do you.